Hi, everyone, and welcome to week three. As I mentioned last week, week three has a lot of reading. So I wanted to go ahead and upload that early for you so that you can go ahead and get a head start on your reading. Um, that's a main focus for this week is looking at going into the textbook. So let me show you in D2L where everything is for you. All right, so I'm going to go into week three here. And you will see in the overview for this week that we're going to be looking at PISA. Um, so this is a website that you're going to be going into and looking more about the education systems kind of around the world. So this should give you some good background information as you're moving forward. Um, so what are you going to do this week? So you're going to identify the early theorist. That's going to be your reading. You're going to think about how the early theorists theorist shape today's U.S. education system, explain, examine the PISA website, explain what information can be gathered from that website, and analyze your data to make an, a conclusion. So as far as you're reading, you're going to read chapters one through four. Um, I know this says Nearpod 2.2. I'm sorry, I'm going to fix that. It's Nearpod 3.1, um, and they'll be in the module three activities tab, not module two. Um, within the video there, within the Nearpod, there's a short video to watch, uh, as well as a reading, and you're going to be looking at the PISA website. Um, you're going to do your reading notes from Module 3. Everything, um, I apologize for the due dates, everything is due in two weeks on Sunday. And then upcoming is your bibliography. So again, you're going to read chapters one through four. The text is linked. Um, you're going to do your Nearpod. You're going to do the project um, where you're going to be complete your reading resources. And then upcoming to July 8th um, is going to be your bibliography. So let me go back here for a second so I can show you where everything is. So here's your link to your textbook. Um, remember, you can get that from the UNG library, or if you want to purchase it yourself, that's fine. Um, your Nearpod for week three, your reading reflections due June 25th. I apologize for that date. I'm going to make sure that they're correct. Um, and then here is my reading notes document. So what I did was I took into account everybody's ideas that they had, as well as some that I had myself for doing your reading. So you have a choice board. Um, you can do a graphic organizer. You can create a video. It can be Flipgrid. It can be just you talking on a video like Zoom. That's fine, too. Um, and you're going to talk about really the most important ideas from the reading. Um, you can do an audio recording. You can create a word cloud. Um, you can find a video on YouTube or other media that talks about what you learned during your readings. You can create a PowerPoint if you want. You can create a concept map. You can do a Powtoon. Here's a link to Powtoon. Create an infographic. Um, have a group chat if you want to have a group chat. Totally fine with that. Um, just copy and paste the chat into a Word document. So if you and a classmate want to get together, you can do it over chat. Um, just again, making sure that you're talking about the important ideas and responding to each other. Um, again, you can have a Zoom conversation with classmates. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. I want you to be creative. I'm really looking for you to tell me what are the main ideas that you're pulling out of your readings every week. OK, um, if you have a question or you want to say, hey, Dr. Sears, I want to try this. You know what? I'm probably going to say it's OK. Um, I'm going to put into the assignments tab in D2L under this under the um, in assignments here. I'm going to go ahead and throw some ideas for reading notes in here as well. So you can look at that. Um, you're also going to want to start thinking about your final presentation. So start to think about um, an area that you want to be researching for this summer. Again, if you have questions, want to Zoom with me, have a meeting with me to talk through some ideas, happy to do that. Just let me know. Um, and the reason why is because you're going to want to start collecting resources for your final project. Your bibliography, all you're going to do is do your reference list. That way I can tell you in advance if you're doing your reference list correctly, I can make corrections to it, but you're going to need at least seven resources. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, everyone, just shoot me an email. Um, it's great to um, get to know all of you this week, and I look forward to the rest of the semester. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.